Women of Pleasant, good late evening. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Lewis Sports Network. Before we get started, I want you guys to make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure your post notifications are turned on. Make sure you guys are sharing on your social media platforms. Truly appreciate it. I want to thank you guys for always liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel, man. Definitely appreciate that. Definitely share this video, people. Definitely share this video, man. Much love, peace, and blessings, everybody. Like I always say, without you guys, there is no me. Hope everybody is having a wonderful Wednesday night on this hump day, man. Let's get on to the video. You call yourself the dirtiest, the dirtiest player in the game. Who is the dirtiest player of the game, Lewis Sports? If you want to ask the question, let me answer that for you. It is Draymond Donkey Green. Woo! Draymond Donkey Kong does it again. Ladies and gentlemen, what did he do this time? Hmm. Well, after I was watching the Lakers and the Mavs last night in the, where the Mavs edged out a two-point win, I did not see the Warriors and Suns game because I went to sleep early. I wake up in the morning and I find out and I see videos all over social media. I'm looking on my Instagram and I see Draymond Green trying to be a street fighter, throwing a tornado back fist, giving Yusuf Nurkic a little Hadouk and pretty much knocked him down to the ground or a Razor Ramon right hand or the people's champ right hand from the rock. He knocks down Yusuf Nurkic and he's facing a big suspension. He got ejected from the game and the Warriors end up losing the game 119-116 at the hands of the Phoenix Suns. After the game, Draymond was all apologetic and he tried to give an explanation as to, you know, what happened, why he he was he ended up punching Nurkic and he sends an apology. Now, you would think that as you get older, you start to become more mature and more wiser. Draymond Green is in his 30s and he's becoming more immature with each year passing by. There's no place in the game for that. Now, you see, it's one thing if you're getting physical um, and then you're going to have a little scuffle. You might get into a guy's face and you might got to do a little trash talk. There wasn't much going on between him and Nurkic. And for some reason, he decides to do a spinning back fist and knock Nurkic down, you know, with a right hand. I mean, he literally threw a punch, ladies and gentlemen. He threw a punch. So he's going to, I'm pretty sure, look, man, if they want to send Draymond Green a message, he's got to get a heavy suspension. I'm looking 25, 30 games max, in my personal opinion. I wouldn't be surprised if he'd be suspended even longer than that, to be honest with you. I mean, so I know some people be like 10 games or whatever. To me, I say 25 to 30 games maximum. And what's crazy is Draymond Green just got a five game suspension for putting the chokehold on Rudy Gobert. And the list goes on and on. I mean, I remember the scuffle he had with Bradley Beal uh, a couple of years back when they were in Oracle Arena. Remember the nut, the, the kick to the nuts heard around the world to Steven Adams in the 2016 Western Conference Finals. Uh, and remember, he didn't get suspended for that. But remember that him and LeBron got into a scuffle in the finals in game four where LeBron stood over him and Draymond pretty much almost clipped him in the nuts um, in that game. And he ended up getting suspended for game five uh, in which the Warriors were up 3-1. We know, you know, the history with that. We know the, the little scuffle he had with Kevin Durant when they argued back and forth. And he called them he called them the B word. And he also said that, you know, we don't need Kevin. And he chased Kevin Durant out of town. Do y'all remember when the Warriors first won the championship and Draymond Green and Steve Kerr had their issues? They were kind of going back and forth. And what did Draymond say? I don't remember what Draymond said, but all I know is that Draymond, he pretty much called out Steve Kerr and embarrassed him in front of everyone at the championship parade when Draymond was all drunk. And you know what they say, man, when you when you're drunk, you tell the truth. The truth comes, the truth tends to come out. The truth shall set you free. And let me tell you what this is, ladies and gentlemen. And then obviously we forget about the incident last year with Sabonis in the playoffs when he kicked them in the chest. I mean, we remember that too, right? And Draymond's had a plethora of incidents over the years and he thinks he's Dennis Rodman. Let me tell you about Dennis Rodman. Dennis may be a lot of things, but one thing that Dennis doesn't do, for, for example, is he don't be trying to like, he, he, Dennis is a troll. 
Dennis is a troll. That's what he likes to do. He tries to get into your he tries to get into your head psychologically, but he tries to get into you. He'll do little things here and there, but Dennis ain't gonna fight. Dennis, Dennis ain't a fighter. Dennis Rahman is not a fighter. He'll he likes to troll. Because his thing is he likes to play mind games and try to get to his head, but that doesn't take away from the great defender he was. Draymond has ruined his reputation for the amount of level of success he's helped given the Warriors. I mean, he helped the Warriors get four championships. Um, and he should be commended and respected for what he brought to the table with Golden State. Like, much respect for that. But when it comes to your character, this comes from his mom, his single mom. He gets all of that immaturity and that behavior from her. And it's clear that she never held him accountable when he was a child because the Golden State Warriors is what? Draymond's parent at this point, the organization. And have they ever really checked Draymond on his nonsense? Because Steve Kerr has never done it. Um, the organization hasn't really done it. And the head of the table, Steph Curry, has never done it neither. The leader of the team. And you got to ask yourself, the Warriors, have the Warriors given Draymond so much entitlement that Draymond feels that he's above criticism? Because if y'all notice, he kind of acts like Russell Westbrook in a sense of this. You can't tell him nothing. He'll criticize himself and he'll hold himself accountable and he doesn't want to hear from anybody else because he'll tell you that he is his own, he's his biggest critic. But Draymond's gotten away with it for years. And let's realize this, man. Draymond is not impacting the game anymore like he once did. I mean, remember that that little scuffle that Clay had with that Minnesota Timberwolves player? I think it was with Jaden McDaniel, I think. And it started with them. And, and Draymond and Clay have been on some nonsense. They've really been some nonsense because let's think about it. I felt like ever since they won that fourth title in 2022, just a couple of seasons ago, this entitlement that's kind of gone over them has, it's kind of gotten over their heads. I mean, Draymond has do, been doing the podcast and, you know, he's had his little issue with Charles Barkley. They've gone back and forth. So the GOAT of triple singles, as I call Draymond Green, Mr. GOAT triple single, you are the triple single GOAT, sir. You deserve what's coming to you. And the Golden State Warriors, the Golden State Warriors, they deserve a lot of blame for not holding their one of their players, one of their uh one of their drafted players to their organization in check. This is their this is their fault just as much as it is Draymond's. They've never tried to send him a message in terms of we don't do that here. Remember Jordan Poole? The Jordan Poole incident last year? What how does Steve Kerr handle it? Instead of addressing his player Draymond Green, he addresses the person who leaked the video of Draymond punching Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole ended up getting a concussion when they had that little when they had that little scuffle. Because I remember Jordan Poole pushed him and Draymond just came just came with that Jermaine O'Neal flying fist from the Malice in the Palace like really just decked him right in the face. Right? So that just lets you know right then and there that Draymond Draymond did it. Like I said, this this does not take away his accomplishments of a defensive player of the year, a three-time all-star, four-time NBA champion. But this is about your character, Draymond. And character-wise, as a man, you've never been held accountable for the stuff that you've done. And Yusuf Nurkic said it best after the postgame. He needs help. But also, ladies and gentlemen, understand this too. Draymond works for Clutch Sports. See, because... Well, if you really pay attention, what they're going to tell you is, oh, man, you know, LeBron ended the dynasty. He didn't end the dynasty really on the court. He end, he's ending the dynasty. He's ending the dynasty inside out because Draymond Green is part of Clutch Sports and him and LeBron are business partners. So if you look at the way Draymond played last year in the playoffs against the Lakers, don't look at the way he played in Golden State. Look at the way he played in Los Angeles. It didn't it didn't really drink and look at the way Draymond acted. It wasn't really that big of a deal for him that, you know, the Warriors lost. Klay Thompson is giving you next to nothing and he should be coming off the bench. But Steve Kerr does not want to play the young guys as much as he should be playing them. And Andrew Wiggins, his game has regressed since 2022. 
So right now, this is this is the team that to me they need to blow it up. In my personal opinion, I feel like that this this era, this unless if they make moves, this era has come to an end for the Warriors. And Steph Curry, to me, the fact that he's been quiet and really has not said anything and. I'm not expecting them to say nothing to the media because it's like, you don't want to do that. Put your teammate out there and stuff like that. Draymond put himself out there, so that's his own fault. But Steph Curry should have handled this indoors. And it's like the fact that Draymond has gotten away with this behavior year after year after year after year after year. This is a leadership problem from the head coach because the head coach is afraid of him. And this is, a, this is also from the star player, the franchise player, Steph Curry. I, and Joe Lakeup and the owners and the and the front office, they 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 get all the blame. They get all the blame just as much as Draymond Green, because you've never held them accountable. And Draymond himself doesn't hold himself accountable. This is a guy who keeps saying that, you know, he wants to go and apologize and making an excuses. And no, you made an excuse. He's the reason that Kevin Durant left. And the fact that Stephen A. snitched, oh, yeah, you know, I, I, I think that Draymond's going to get 10 games. Oh, yeah. And, you know, Draymond, you know, I love that brother. And I was like, dude, shut up. Nobody cares about that. I don't care how close you are with Draymond Green. The point is Draymond punched a guy. And this isn't the first time that he's done this excessive behavior. And I'm glad that Jay Williams called him out on it. I, I, I'm, sick of, I'm sick of the biased fanboy nonsense that you like to do. That's just straight up pathetic. This is this is a guy who just doesn't know how to control himself. He doesn't know how to keep his emotions in check. And you could just do anything to make him tick. So this, is, to me, is Draymond Green's message of, I want to play in Los Angeles with LeBron. And I want to be in LA. I don't want to be with the Warriors anymore. Because it's clear that they don't appreciate me, that they don't like me. Even though they've let me get away with my behavior for so long. That's what all this is, ladies and gentlemen. So if you ever see a LeBron fanboy come out and say, oh, yeah, man, you know, LeBron, man, he destroyed the dynasty, man. He told he whispered in Draymond's ear, along with Maverick Carter, Randy Mims and uh, Mr. Rich Paul. They all they all they talked and said, man, this is what I need you to do. I need you to start acting a fool. I need you to just do anything you can to miss a lot of games so that we don't got to play you. And I need you to try to sabotage this team internally inside out so that the Warriors could become a distraction. That's you guys are one less team we got to deal with in the Western Conference. That's what I personally think. You can call me a hater all you want, but I, it's just the, the move, the move, the moves Draymond doing has just been way too funny, man. Him and Clay need to grow up. And like I said, most important Draymond for a guy who's in his 30s, you would think he should be maturing, but he's immaturing as he gets even older. But that's because, like I said, he gets it from his mama and he ain't never been held accountable. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Lewis with another one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section on this Draymond Green situation. Let me know how many games you think he's going to get suspended. Anyway, bless up. Live, laugh, love. Draymond, man. You and your feminine energy, man. Thank you guys for watching.